What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Of course, you know it's your boy Behind Radio Shout in stepping in the building. I got my St. Louis fam off in this thing. What's Murphy happening? Lee, what's, what's good happening? with it, boss? I can't call me. I was waiting for that intro. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? <laughs> Well, you already know, Classic, baby. What's Come on, it? baby. I mean, Murph, first of all, you over here back the second time around in this oh, thing. Yeah, man. It's the second phase of my life, Talk man. Talk to me, man. I mean, the merch on deck and everything else. What's yeah, really good with just it? Just a little bit of something, man. I dropped the album called Second Time Around. Yeah. Some one of my best efforts yet. You yeah. know what I mean? I, I'm talking about some great music. But I, I think I got tired of um the old and the young thing going on. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? I'm older in age now, so. I watch how hip hop grew like no other. You got Obama, 75, 80 year olds listening to hip hop now. You know what I'm saying? It's That's regular right. music. Whereas when we was young, it was just the high school, the kids was watching. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Our parents was listening to some 70s, 80s, 40s, you know what I'm exactly. saying? Some old stuff. So now I just feel like the older rappers don't do it because they're trying to compete with the younger artists. Mm. So they just be like, fuck it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And instead of that, I felt like. Nah, we need to make some music for our peers, for our people our age who actually been through some stuff, who actually know what's going on, you know what I'm saying? Who don't want to listen to the youth music like that, you know what I'm saying? We we forced it. Man, when we was younger, we had to listen to our parents' music. Everything. We had no choice, you know what I'm saying? And then we got with our friends, we listened to our rap. But at home, guess what was playing? Blues, goddamn... <laughs> R&B. Uh, yeah, the OJs and all type of stuff, you feel what I'm saying? So yep. now... Shoot, the grown folks listen to their kids' music. Like, what are we doing? Like, <laughs> we ain't killed nobody. We ain't did. We ain't pop no pills. Ain't did nothing. That music do not relate like that. Exactly. But we still we forced to listen to it because it be jamming. We yeah. can't talk. It's a time and a place for all music. Thanks. You know what I'm saying? But this here, um, them four hours that everybody be in the club, I took them other twenty hours and I got something for you. You know what I'm saying? And I got some club jammers on there, but at the same time, I'm trying to get you to your day to day. I'm trying to get you to work. I'm trying to get you home. I'm trying Come to, on. I'm trying to be the family reunion. I'm trying to be the car party. I'm trying to be when they go out. Come when you're on. chilling, the laid back, the date I'm night, you. I'm that person. You know what I'm saying? I'm, <laughs> I'm filling in that void. I'm, I like to stay in my own lane, do my own thing, make my own change. Wow. I don't like all that, um, you know, everybody trying to rush in that one lane of things and trying to sound like each other just to make a uh, think the DJ is going to play it because they sounding like this or sounding like that. But, man, we too grown for that. You know what I'm saying? Stay, see, in, stay in your lane and do your thing. My thing was this, Murph, because I was just talking with somebody about this the other day, uh -huh. and I was like, we got OG Kush and we need OG music. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? We need a whole genre. If you got trap music, can we have OG music in here yeah. for the grown folks that just want to enjoy some classic hip hop or some real hip hop that's talking about grown folks' situations? Yeah, content. You see what it's I'm really saying? It's really the content. You know what I mean? It's all about the content because the beats is... The beats are always infinite, but exactly. it's the content that we talking about. What are we talking about? You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm making sure not only am I... You know what I'm saying? I, you know, I, I like the, the women to shake their ass, but not only that, I, I would love to teach a few people. I love to, you know, drop some gems. I love to tell some stories. I got some great stories on her, some good lessons to be what learned. What you talking about? Man, I'm talking about that thing. This album is kind of dedicated to my fans. You know what I'm saying? Like, to the ones that... My day ones. I'm talking about completely. You know what I'm saying? Like we sold over 45 million records. My it's no God. way. It's no way that I don't go touch them first. So I got a lot of homage records on this thing. It's a song called Human Love on there. That's uh, like that's strictly direct to there. It's like my version of Stan. Yeah. It's a PG version of Stan because I'm really just talking. You know, answering all the questions that people got. Where you been, Murph? What you doing? When your album dry? Why? Yeah. Why you ain't dry yet? What's going on? What's up with the ticks? Did it? All the questions being answered. You know what I'm saying? So uh. first two songs, like second time around, that's one of them ones. You know what I'm saying? Where I'm actually answering all the questions instead of getting on these mics talking i'm yeah. actually getting on you know what i'm saying You're on music and, you know the tell fans. the story tell it what it is you know what i'm saying and um the truth self set you free yeah i just figured that part out in music you know what i'm saying i figured out that a lot of these folks lying you know what i'm saying they telling stories about their friends they telling stories about people they may have saw or they ain't saw none of it that they seeing but they talking about it yeah so all half of these rappers that y'all see out here killing and shooting and and doing everything else in their rhymes they're gonna kill eight people in a bar it's like <laughs> you know what i'm saying they're yeah. not doing that they living up in the hills bro you know what i'm saying like and it's okay to be that but you don't have to you know tell people about the other side you know what I'm saying? tell people about it's like it's like instagram dog. it's like one big highlight film like come <laughs> on bro your life ain't all that gravy tell the people you know yeah, what I'm saying? Cause people going through stuff so it's okay to talk about because somebody going through that same thing as Damn you right you know what i'm saying so tell the tell tell it all that's how i feel about it when you when you talking about i did these drugs i sold these drugs and did that tell it all you know what i'm saying that's what gz and them did it well because they told you the bad side all right you get locked up you gk but, you know you feel me yeah. jay-z like they told you like yeah you can you can do that but just let you know it's real <laughs> it's the other side of that thing you're dead or jail for real you know what i'm saying so 
I think I, I I touched that part and made sure it wasn't no just no highlight reel. It was you know the whole story. Just tell the truth. You know what I mean? Truth always truth always works, and that let me know that I that ain't no uh ain't no 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 blind. You can't you know what I'm saying? You can't not. Not right, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. No writers blocking that or nothing. When you just speaking the truth, I'm just telling you the truth right now. You know what I'm saying? Most people first album they tell you the whole build up to their first album, right? Yeah. And then when they drop their second album, they try to talk the same stuff and tell telling people, <laughs> "Yo, I just got yeah. ten million in my bank account. I'm feeling different right Come now." Come on, they want to hear it. They want to know where you at right now. It, exactly. it always works. Truth always works. So a lot of times you see people not even making it to their second, third album because truth. <laughs> <laughs> you get scared of the truth. You get scared of that truth, boy. Nah, but answer me this though, Murphy. You say you know a lot of folks like to rap about their highlight reel, but you actually have a highlight yeah. reel. Yeah. So how does that feel when you look through your memories museum and you think about those platinum records and all of that touring and all of that stardom that you was uh, receiving out here in these streets, man. Man, shit, to this day. But it feels, to this day, to, the, to this day. But, you know, I feel good, man. It's just, um, and that's why I called it the second time around. It's really the second phase. A lot of people think I'm trying to touch back into the yonder. No, I'm not trying to live in the past. I'm literally trying to show you that we can have second phases of life. You know what I'm saying? Like, My God. Be how this, this platform is, to me personally, is way bigger than any nighttime show on the radio you. for you. You know what I'm saying? Like Thank this is you. this is entrepreneurship at its best, and My I God. think that's where we need to go. And um, when we get older, we need to talk about it. We need to, you know what I'm saying? But like and I said, a lot you. of our artists don't want to do that. But I did have a freight. For, our first run was great, and that's what's so dope about. Ooh. I do have a, a dope foundation where I can go perform. What the hook gonna be? Shake your tail feather right now to this day, every weekend, exactly. and that's love. And I don't never have to drop an album for real. So these albums are out of love and out of uh, straight to my fans. So I, I. 314-408-TICKS You know what I'm saying Text me if you want the project Text me if you want to be a part of uh, This subscribing thing that I do For exclusive content Exclusive things I, I send to my people And it's re- it's me You know what I'm saying So so hit me up 314-408-TICKS That's how you get the album That's also how you get You know what I'm saying Like I said The exclusive everything Because that day When Facebook and Instagram Drop down Or when you be seeing them Kick Boosie off Or <laughs> have people be losing Their things over one word And all that Like that can't I, I refuse to let that happen To me in the future yeah. I refuse to do that I want to be straight with my fans uh hand in hand no middleman so i feel like all this entrepreneurship and all this independence that everybody's screaming it shouldn't be no middleman at all like none you know what i'm saying so i'm trying to go straight i'm, tr- I'm trying to build that that foundation again so i'm i'm out here locating folks you know direct what I mean? to consumer like i've yes, been telling sir. folks for the longest man once you go directly to that consumer and you cut out that middleman you might as well just 10 times your bank account, man. Because, I mean, when you're going yeah. through a middleman, they taking so much damn money out. By the time you finally get paid, you're looking crazy in this thing. It's a longer road. I mean, if that middleman puts you to where you need to put it, everybody can get paid. It's, yeah. it's, no, it's, no, it's infinite money. But the part is, we talking top 20 in the world. That's the only people it's going to work for. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Everybody else is considered underground artists. You're not getting paid for what you think you're getting paid. We talking point zero zero sixes and them streams ain't worth nothing. You know what I'm saying? So when we playing that game, we got to realize who we are. You know what I'm saying? I think everybody want to be famous so bad yeah. that we're not looking at numbers Business. and profit margin. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, find you 10,000 folks that you can that spend $100 with you a year. That's a, You a millionaire. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what numbers do we want? We want to be so big and so fast. And so we don't, you, I, I love the grind of it. I love yeah. the, this part of it. It's a client for me right now because I dropped down there 50 mixtapes over these past times where it looked like I wasn't doing nothing. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? It was just me going from being on a label to independent. It was a big transition. You know what I'm saying? Especially how big we did. Yes. That when I wasn't on there, that awareness that I thought that, Independent, you yeah. should just get by just saying, yo, what's up on Twitter? <laughs> that ain't how it works, bro. It ain't real. This algorithm is real, so you got you to gotta know what you're doing. And it took me damn near 10 years for real to learn this thing. I had to, and it, went, and it ain't about social media. I had to also learn that people my age ain't ch- chilling on social media. First of all, let's start there. <laughs> that is a child. You know what I'm saying? And see, don't get it messed yeah. up, too, because we around the same age, yes, bro. Sir. So it's like social media kind of popped off. In early twenties, yeah, we so we had a decision to make if we even wanted to get on the motherfucker or not. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You want so this information? come on, man. So then, ten years later, it's like, why am I on this motherfucker again? Right. And but then you realize that this is where the money's being made at yeah. is through the damn social media. Yeah. So the people that mastered it, like your dog on Soldier Boys, mm-hmm. Soldier Boy, has he even been on a label and? 
15 years or anything? Yeah, he don't need one. Come on, that man. But he came straight in digitally. Yep. So, but these young folks and these kids that are raised up through there, it's like hopefully they understand the magnitude of the resources that they have because they might not ever need to go back through the old ways of doing stuff. So, like you was talking about earlier with the podcast. Back in the day, if you wanted to have a platform for somebody to hear you, nigga, you had to get on the radio mm -hmm. and you had to get on TV. Yep. If you didn't get on radio or TV, then you can go to hell. <laughs> you just going to be that artist. That just, <laughs> you just going to be practicing. Come That's on. That's what it is. Good practice. Come on. You know what I'm saying? And then also, too, though, and I, and I think and I hope that these young folk add social, not just social media, but add social in their yeah. life. You know what I'm saying? Because it won't last. Yeah. Like, they can see you online if you're not the biggest you won't last. And people want to do this for a long time. You know what I'm saying? NBA players got a certain amount of time. They can play in that thing. You, uh, just, I got that word for you. That's you, that thing. That, 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 don't you say that all the time, cuz. Yeah, yeah, hey, man. Like, I'm tell you that thing. I'm just bugging up. Boy. But just straight up and down. Like, they, they, it's a time limit. Same way with, with, with rap for real. Like, if you don't, your hottest moments, bro, that ain't going to be that long. So when you thinking it's not, like, you got to get outside and play. You got to shake some hands, kiss some babies. At some point in time, your, your, um, Networking has to go farther than that, da 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 than them types. But you answer me saying? this, though, Murph, when you recall your hottest moments, see, that's what people are trying to get to. Mm -hmm. What was that hottest moment experience like for you when you was on fire? It was it was big, but I probably was too young and, and dumb to know that it was on fire <laughs> to take advantage of. You feel what I'm saying? Oh, my God. Like, yeah, I was just living, bro. When I tell you, we might be one of the groups that just didn't take off. We just literally worked, worked. Work. I don't know no any vacation we was paid for. You feel what I'm saying? Like it was somewhere if we had a show in Cancun, we was in Cancun. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? We kicked it for them two days. Yeah. We didn't take off and like, yo, let's go celebrate this great millions of records we saw. <laughs> we didn't do that. We just kept going six years straight. So when stuff started happening and things of that nature, business stuff started kicking in, it was like, oh shit. <laughs> I'm damn near burnt out. You, you know what I'm saying? Some people burnt out. So it's just it's that for me. I, I enjoyed it. I remember. I don't remember a lot. Why not? And I don't know. I I know one thing. My kindergarten through high school is stuck in my head. I don't know if this is an age <laughs> thing or what, bro. I said it might be an age thing. It's stuck in my head right after I graduated. But the all the stories that when we was on, man, I'm talking about. Mother would be like, yo. Tell me a story what happened on the tour. Oh shit. <laughs> I don't fucking remember, bro. I'm talking about and I and I know it'll kick in probably in a few years when yeah. it and when it be like that. I remember stuff we started, you know what I'm saying? Stuff yeah. we we legendary, so we straight was trendsetters and things. Yeah. I remember the big stuff, but I'm talking about just the little stories that yeah. my partners are telling me, like, man, we was on that bus doing it. I'll be like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about, but but ask me something about my school and grab yeah. no full names and teachers' yeah. names, yeah. and I don't know where that came from because when I was in 2000, I didn't even remember nothing. <laughs> so I, it might be an age thing, you know what I'm saying? But I know one damn thing: we had a hell of a run and a great time. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't change that for nothing. I thank my brothers to this day, like yo. You know what I'm saying? I can't believe they, you know what I'm saying? They sacrificed a lot. I know all of them sacrificed a lot. I was the youngest in the group. We yeah. all like three years apart, so we all play a certain role. And just them, you know what I'm saying? And as I got to their ages, yeah. I started being like, damn, you was like that. I ain't know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I ain't know if it was, I was I supposed to be it. like that. Yeah. yeah, now I see what grown is about, you know what I'm saying? And the, and the roles you have to play. So I shout out Nelly all the time. I shout out Ali and Kiwan and, and City Man, because they sacrificed a lot to, to put us in this position to be able to still work to this day. Like, hey, yeah. I'm okay. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. the, those who think I'm not, I'm okay. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Like it's it's okay. Like and I look at money different now. You know what I'm saying? Just being grown and shit. But I love the fact that I can do this type of second time around thing and get out here to my fans. I got this thing called the Murphy Lee Experience where I um I go city to city and um my shows ain't regular. I don't do just regular shows. I do events where I, I it's mixed with comedy. So the Murphy mm. Lee Experience is comedy, hip hop, R and B, and live music. And a DJ. Yeah. So everybody got sets. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's crazy. It's, yeah. it's, man, it's, it's one of the dopest things. I use real headliners. You know, I got like three headliners on that thing for comedy. Yeah. Um, I brought, man, my daughter be performing, my wife, the whole nine. Like, we, we got a whole little family thing going on. But it be super dope. It's one of the best experiences, one of the dopest date nights of all times. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's coming. In. I'm going to bring it to Atlanta, too, definitely. Come on and, with um, it. But that's what we on, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just on that right now. I'm not on what these everybody else be on and what they get a kick out of in this music business. You Come know what I'm saying? Because the music business shady. 
Nah, Merv. <laughs> Talk to me about when Nelly and Ali had their tit for tat earlier this year. Ah, that was crazy. What was going through your mind during that time, and did y'all ever get some clarity in that situation? Um, I don't know. I can't speak for them brothers, but uh, you know, I don't like to see none of that shit. Like yeah. I was, I've been gone for like nine years. <laughs> hey, you, I ain't been on Nelly stage in like nine years, bro. I ain't said not a word. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like so. I ain't like to see them brothers going back and forth. Them my brothers, you know what I'm saying? But I know both of them hurt. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that and that got something to do with it. It ain't it ain't no nobody wanna just and the biggest thing to me though, ain't even no real problem. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like and that and that was that was the way I'm gone and everything, like it's no it was it still ain't no real problem. Like ain't no real thing. Like when people fall out over this, fall out over yeah. that, it ain't none of that. Right now it's just some shit that I don't know if it's some grow apart shit or what it is, Ego. but I respect it and I respect people's space. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I know for a fact that um I'm easily I'm easily moved by my brothers because all my life they didn't the ones that I followed and they taught me everything. So when they be like move or something like that, sometimes I can get off my my lane uh, and, and veer in that, oh, we gonna do this, do that, and I veer off a little yeah. bit. But I'm learning now, just being grown and having family and everything to stay on my path. And anything else we add to that, I'm dope with it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I'm the first one to say, um, any lunatic thing that come our way, I'm you check me in. Yeah. Like I'm not the one to be like, man, what we doing? I ain't, you ain't gotta hear none of that from me. I'm in on whatever it is. Cause I, I work the office max with people I don't like. So Come if, we, if we got a problem, we don't like each other. We still can work, man. Exactly. It's bread. You know what I'm saying? So I'm with all the things, you know what I'm saying? My brothers do hear this or see this interview. Like, man, we, we got too much on the table. You know what I'm saying? To not take on that. You know what I'm saying? So whenever it's there, when I'm ready for it. I'm just letting y'all know. But um, I learned it to just stay in my line and make sure I keep, you know, finish all these ideas and projects and stuff I got going on. And um, just bring my church to the table this time. That's all I think. I feel like I was sitting on the table mm, <laughs> last time. I, feel somebody, you. I don't think it was my table. When I yeah. did, like I was Debo, I just sat on the table. <laughs> like I ain't had no church, nothing. Like, so I'm just making sure that if we do bring back a lunatic table, that I will have a, a full chair. And I might even bring an extra table. We can slide in and make the table bigger. You feel me? Well, see, I got to say this, though, Murph. What always gets me about these kinds of situations mm -hmm. is we need those reunions and stuff like that for the culture just in general because it's like, you know, y'all have a big-ass fan base, and that just does something for the human spirit to see brothers get back together and crank it up like they used to crank it up. Nah, that's super dope. I think I'm so shady right now that I, on my shady part of this yeah. is that I don't want to see none of that stuff, but... Y'all making a movie dope. <laughs> Cause that's all I'm doing over here, writing a movie. Yeah. I'm like, man, as long as we don't nobody touch nobody, we good. Like yeah. I, I'm on that. Like, man, I'm like, boy, y'all helping the movie. Keep going. Nah, I ain't, I ain't gonna say keep going, but you feel me? Like, but them my that. brothers, man. I love, man, I don't love nobody like I love them, yeah. bro. Like, them are like, man. Like Ali, like my father, keep yeah. one of my real brother in real life. Like same mama, same missing daddy, the same. Like we, all, I don't know nobody else. It's, I'm talking about beds till we 18. Like yeah. I don't know nobody else but Key One. I mean, Key One, best friend, brothers. Like you feel me? Yeah. And then City, like taught me how to rap for real. Like I didn't know how to go around the neighborhoods and eat up everybody. He <laughs> taught that. You feel what I'm saying? I seen that from him. You know what I'm saying? Slow down with the mask. This man straight sacrificed his life to be a mascot. <laughs> You feel what I'm saying? My like God. I'm talking about like that you, you loved us so much. You loved us that much. Like I'm talking about before we was on, I see if he came on after Country <laughs> Grammar and he was like, Boy, that's my group. <laughs> Put on a man. But this man been down since yonder. You know what I'm saying? He was cutting out hair. That was my yeah. barber. And he just was so in that he came to one of our shows with a mad bro like that dedication you know what i'm saying like it's a mud and then nelly just always been great always been called always been looked up to yeah. in my life like since i was younger like man oh you playing second better oh yeah shortstop that's me yeah. I, I always looked at cornell you know what i'm saying yeah. like that's my big brother that's key my best friend i always looked at it, like first house i ever spent the night of over that was my brother's friend you know what I'm saying? everybody yeah. else said tori you gotta go home you know what i'm saying his mom was the only ones like he can stay you know yeah. like bitch you know what i'm saying so i I remember all that now and i appreciate them brothers like they raised me you know what i'm saying yes, so sir. man to me all this everything you hear or anything you see is all bs you know what i'm saying i think um everybody just taking a role to do what they need to do to find themselves like i said um uh, my chair will be first at the table yeah. if it need to be um and i you know we gonna get through whatever it is whatever that is i don't even know what it is but whatever that is yeah they gonna get through that you know what i'm saying both of them brothers man when they it, great people that's the thing like yeah. you know what i'm saying like a lot of people don't know that like they great people like and we gotta get room for mistakes 
Mm. And it says to my black people, this ain't got nothing to do with the ticks. It's just like we don't forgive or we don't we don't think we can mess up. Like if you in a relay, I watch dudes get cheated on and all that, and they still be with that gal and all that. Like we can make mistakes, bro. Yeah. And we should be able to apologize. We should be able to get, come back from a mistake. All that. Yeah. Like, I'm tired of that part of the game. You know what I'm saying? That stuff almost worse than, the, you know, that street stuff we was talking about. Yeah. It's like, dog, give us, we got to grow, bro. We can't, you can't get, you feel me? And we putting you that on these young that, artists, bro. Balls. Think about it. We putting on these young artists like that. Like, dog, we like, we expecting them to be great on their first albums and all that. Yeah. Like, dude, everybody ain't going to have no classic first album, bro. Yeah. Like, we got to get them room to be better. You see Baby, little Baby now, bro? Yeah. That boy, look, he's looking straight up. He's spitting that whoop. You feel me? But Come you, on. People would count you out so early, bro, just on some, you can't. Gucci, man, man, they was had a short butt shorty hole skits about my brother. <laughs> and that cat cold, bro. If you go back and really listen to the lyrics. The trap gun. Yeah, you would never think he write his music now to nothing. Exactly. And when you go back, man, he say the most <laughs> than anybody. We call him mumble. We call it everything. Yeah. I, I can't stand that. So no more disrespecting our people, man. We got to forgive. We got to um, be able to make mistakes. And we also have to give people time to grow, bro. Answer me this, though, Murph. How many mistakes is too many mistakes? Because um, if you make the the if you make the real, what they call a mistake, the real mistake, mm -hmm. all the, the regular consequences of life will get your ass. Ooh. See, we wouldn't have to do all we do like you in trouble. You, <laughs> we ain't got to put nobody in the corner and none of that. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Oh, the regular life going to do you, fam. Like, like whether it's jail, dead, or whatever it yeah. is, regular life will do that, handle that part. So them the real mistakes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think uh, the mistakes we make are forgivable and... Uh, Man, we just gotta be give a little time to learn some patience, bro, with each other, man. We new to this. Yeah. We new to this world. We not knowing that this is a new generation, bro. Our parents fighting in the sixties and all that. Like <laughs> what we doing right now is so minor. Like yeah. we gotta realize we are already not uh putting towards our future. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Just as people, like we ain't doing that part. We just living. Ain't so even progressing. Yeah. So at least give people a little chance to live and make a few mistakes, bro. That's all. Nah. You was talking about y'all six year run, man. Talk to me about what happened immediately after that six year. What was that experience like for you, Murphy, after y'all got off of that run? I think it got rough because I started getting in label situations and then um, had my first son and then I lost my second son like right back, like had him back to back like yeah. a year apart and lost my second son, it tripped me out. And I ain't realize because I was so young, I ain't know how to take, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So many yeah. people die around you, especially being from St. Louis, like so many people, you know, pass away. Yeah. That you don't even know how to feel for real when yeah. you lose somebody. But that that right there hit me so hard. And I was so numb for so long, bro. And I ain't realize it. I ain't realize it till like 12, maybe 012 or something. It took like four or five years of me to realize that I was in a little mood, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like attitude. Yeah. A whole bunch of stuff that, you know what I'm saying? My wife probably took from me, you know what I'm saying? Just on some, just not wanting to be, not wanting to go nowhere. I used to, supposed to be at the club, I don't even want to go for real. Yeah. Like, just regular go outs, I work like no yeah. other. Can't never stop me from working. Like working, I'm there, you yeah. know what I'm saying? But when I'm talking about the regular, hey man, come meet me at Don't go there with me. I mean, I ain't. Don't go there with me, Murph. <laughs> Are you on? I don't need a house, hey, so these man at me all the hey, time. you like me, bro. Get me on, man, look here. I ain't got, I don't like all that, cause I think, I figure out my job is at work, is at the club. Like Come my on. job was here. Like this, I'm tired of this place. I do not want to go around a regular Susan. I'm sorry. And plus, you get out too much. You know, what I'm saying I'm already humble and like to be. Um, you know, I don't want to be separated from the people. I always feel like that fan. I, I always feel like that uppity rapper move out his way yeah. like to get through the crowd. Now I can't, man, I can't. The security, yeah. I met the man Red Man with that one. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, no, no, yeah. I'm coming by myself. No Come. entourage, no, now I don't even want it. <laughs> what we doing? Like I gotta, you know what I'm saying? So that part there, man, just gotta change as artist. So I fought that so much that, you know what I'm saying? That humble part. But if you go out too much and do too much, bro, you become normal. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You become regular and that can't kill your career. You know what I'm saying? So. I ain't like going, I ain't like doing a lot of stuff. I ain't realize a lot of things, bro. They had to they had to wake me up on that. You know what I'm mm. saying? Like, and that's when I when I finally got off Universal, like they held me for like four years. When I finally got up off of there, I I 
that's when I woke up. You know what I'm saying? Like, up. let me find Murph. I'm tripping. They held you for four years. <laughs> yeah, they just was playing with me. Like, I was taking trips to New York, having dinner. Like, yo, what's up? Release the budget. Let's go. Yeah. Let's do this. You know what I'm saying? They just like, bet we got you in a month. Like, this and that. Like, that's, you know, you know I go back and it's, it's it's other words and people saying, yo, wait, waiting this. And I'm not knowing they saying waiting, nothing like that. But it was just so much hold off and we are about to do it. And like, this ain't how money and work stuff work. But it was a label change. A lot of stuff was going on. So I don't blame it. And I never go back and be like, man, F Universal, F this. I, yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I think that's all a bit. I think it's just one big bank. It's how you handle it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If I do it again, I would have stayed. I wouldn't have got off the label. I would have just utilized it for what it's for. I would have been dropping mixtapes like crazy. And just when it was time to play with them, I would have played with them. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But I left the whole situation completely. Tried to do it on my own. And instead of dropping albums, we were so big that I felt like if I drop an album and it don't top chart or anything like that, that I'm going to mess up my independence chance. So what I did was drop um, documentaries. Mm -hmm. So I did a documentary with a free album. And I did two of those. That was my first independent experience. I never dropped albums. I was dropping mixtapes yeah. like crazy. And then towards like 16, 17, I dropped um, an album called Back to the Basis with um, yeah. J.E. J.E. did all our beginners. He did Country Grammar. All our beginning stuff he did. And uh, me and him dropped the album together. And that, and that was my first step into, you know what I'm saying? Let's yeah. see what, what these streams and stuff talking about. But other than that, boy, I was I was trying to fight with uh, with, 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 with your favorite movie. <laughs> You feel me? I was selling like in the stores in St. Louis, like independent. Like I was selling out more than the than the, your big movies and stuff that just went to DVD and stuff yeah. like that. So I thought I thought that was super dope. I I was getting on charts for that. They were like, "You all yeah, sold yeah. Michael Jackson." And this, I was like, "What?" I'm, I rather you know fill my head up with that than uh, just get you. on there and everybody talk about oh, merch out that that boy didn't sell them but six thousand <laughs> units. You know, like they they I'll just say you. stuff like that. So, but now I, I realize it's nothing but profit margin. So exactly. me dropping these projects is sort of different. So you buy a shirt, you get the album free. You buy, yeah. you know, what I'm saying? I got different packs. They call Murph packs. Like you do it different. Like so I go that route. You know what I'm saying? And um, a few people did it. Nipsey did it. Um, the God Box is one of the biggest ones to Come me. On, you what know up, though, Banner? Yes, yeah, sir. That's my brother. Yeah, right right here. Oh, you know I know I got yeah. a million of them in the house. <laughs> exactly. I support like another. That's my brother right yeah, there, bro. Yeah. And. Um, uh, he just told me, and then I had to talk with Banner. Like right when I was doing, before I was doing this stuff, he just said, "Make sure that shit like that's why that flash drive dope to me because he that was like, shit is hard he as said, hell. I was looking at this. I'm like, what the yeah, fuck? Yeah, flip out. He hell. said, he yeah, said, make sure that motherfucker look is look like Bye. look match Apple. Come on. He said, whatever you do, I don't care Come what on. you do, Murph. Make sure it match. The one, like, you talking about your clean. pictures, everything. Yeah. He said that shit need to look like. Don't Apple. make it look like independent. Like you just, you know what I'm saying? Like you doing it yourself. You know how I people feel, are like, man, I'm but doing no, it all I myself. Feel that. No, make that shit look like it's supposed to look. You know what I'm saying? I was mad at the t-shirt. Don't look at the t-shirt. But just, <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Like that's just something I brought for you. I got some. I got some. You see me yeah, stuff for you. Yeah, it's eat. Yeah, man. So on one side hard. I got the uh, the clothing company. You see me. You see me clothes on the junk. You can go to straight to the website from that QR code. Yes, sir. And then on the other side is the actual project, the second time around project. The cover was dope. Shout out to Amy. She uh she from St. Louis, hard. man. She it's she hard. ripped that thing. But that's just a flash drive. I'm gonna flip out, y'all. Yeah, I know what hard. you're talking about. I know exactly what you're talking about. We just trying to step our game up in life, man. You know what I mean? That's what it is. But this independent run, I just figured out, like, man, they made 17, 18 billion dollars last year, and it's not one billion year billionaire uh, rapper off of music. Like, how you make that much money? And none of them rappers that made y'all that money is a billionaire right now or a hundred millionaire. Like, Come you on. ain't made, ain't none of these rappers made a hundred million off of streams. Break you know that what I'm down then, Murph. Why is it that? Because they cold, bro. The labels are cold because they owning them shits. They, they, we thinking that it's just a stream service. Nah, nigga. Them labels are in on that shit. You feel what I'm saying? That's why you're seeing certain artists at the top of those when you pull it up. And you wonder why you can't buy those spots or nothing. You can't buy them. You feel me? Because they're took already because they're already for the label. And, um, and they making all the bread. You know what I'm saying? Like, when we did this, $17.99. Yeah. You gotta go pull up to the store and go drive and spend your gas to get it the whole nine. Artists was getting 50 cents, 60 cents. Yeah. So it's the same thing. They still getting you. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? But now they gonna tell Kanye, you went gold and you just 350 billion, I mean, 350 million people done streamed your stuff at one time? And you only go? You finna tell me I'm just gold? Bro, please, I don't care if this was free or not. You feel what I'm saying? I don't yeah. care if you just went on your phone and listened to it or not. You listen to my whole album, bro. Yeah. At some point, these they got to come home. You can't keep point zero zero six in this. You feel what I'm saying? So on, on my thing, I just... And then on, on another thing, the, all the distributors, 
all the um, DJs. Mm -hmm. What's the single? What's the single? Oh, okay, I got you. So I'm dropping 12 singles. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Like at one at a time, because yeah. that's all y'all want. That's all the streams start. The algorithm work exactly. off singles. They don't work off albums. That's albums true. do terrible on streams. But the singles go I'm if they you. go. You feel I'm what I'm saying? So you. I'm dropping one at a time. Each song is like got its own campaign, the whole nine. But if you want the album, come on home. 314-408 ticks, or you can link in the bio. You know what I'm saying? But that's what we on right now. And I, like I said, I got my day. It's for my day ones. You know what I'm saying? The people who who rocked Air Force One, the people who wore big clothes for no reason because we did it, people who got dreads because of my people who, you know what I'm saying, the whole thing. If you ever have a lunatic story, like when I was in high school, you did this, or if you ever, man, one person, man, my, yo CD got stuck in my brother's car, bro, he didn't play nothing else. We listened to that thing for seven <laughs> months straight because we couldn't fix it. Yeah. So that's all we could listen to. My he God. like, man, now I don't listen to nothing else. To this day, I listen to Murphy's Law. So it's yeah. for them people. So this is what it's for, you know what I'm saying? My day ones who, you know, so it's 45 million people I'm looking for, bro. That's all Speak it is. Speak on that algorithm, though, Murph, yeah. and how you think it's affecting the game right now. It's all new, you know what I'm saying? But the algorithm is definitely, if you don't know it, it's, it's working how it's supposed to work, man. It, we, we, ain't nothing we can do about it. It's control system, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you kind of know it. Like, I know it because I got a gang of followers on my IG, and when I post something, I get this amount of likes. You know what I'm saying? I wonder why. I'd be like, why I gonna get that? Because they trying to get me to buy some ads because they not finna give them to all my followers. Like, yeah. I may have these amount of followers, but they not gonna let my followers see what I got going on. Because if I do, I can make some money. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So they rather you go through them. You know what I'm saying? But if you work for them, it works out. You got your country wings. You got your people who actually got real content for them. They cutting checks for that. You know what yep. I'm saying? Because they getting so much money. Bro, from sponsors and different ads and different things, they making so much money off us just posting our highlights. Come on, man. <laughs> we only post the highlights, so they just, they just making money off us just posting highlights. Like, we don't realize, so, you know, I be tripping off my people, like, gonna shout out to Derek Grace the second. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, Grace Cole. He teach you, like, don't just be on her. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. If you're gonna use it, use it. Like, use it to make your money, bro. Use Facts. it for you, because they using you. They using you. You think them your followers? They're not your followers. Them are there. They got you leading. They brought 90 from you. They brought 80 from him. They bought 3 million from him. Yep. These are all of their followers. These They put it in one pile. They ain't got yep. 10, 20, 100 piles. Exactly. They're like, we think they do. Like, oh, you, why you ain't like my bitch? They ain't got on. They ain't got <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just so petty, dog. We don't even realize this is not our platform, bro. Quit acting like it is. Yep. And um, quit beating up your friend because they ain't like your bitch. Oh, they're yep. like, it's so stupid. You know what I'm saying? Because yep. it's not ours. So if you gonna be on it use it to make your money sell your boutique do whatever you need to do sell something on this thing i don't care if it's yourself sell something <laughs> you feel what i'm saying because um that's what it's for because they using it they using it and we just on there that's why boosie mad because he like man i make my money off I'm of that bro. Out this thing. yeah like yeah. they don't like it they like all right we can control that you know what yeah. i'm saying so what boosie got to do is tell them to come on home come on just think about it. this one little thing i want to do before you ask the next talk to me if you're not the top artist and not on that top shelf of those algorithms and all those all those explore pages and of those, you know what I'm saying, on your top of your title and all that for your album to be next, you got to tell people to go anyway. Yep. Yo, search my name, all yep. that. They got to go search it anyway, yep. right? So why not tell them to come to newmurf.com? Why am I sending them to title? Or why am I, I would send them to title because it's black on, but why am I sending yep. them to these other places to go look at my stuff? Yeah. No, nah, come on home. <laughs> <laughs> Come on home. What we doing? Like why are we playing? That's I'm like saying, you. yo, yo, uh, yo, Martel, uh, what's called to call me? At no, no, tell him to call you and then you call me. Exactly. No, nah, I we need here. to call you we here. here. Like, what we doing? Why are we exactly. playing? So, all my independent, all right, if you really talking independent, it's going to be that. Like, quit being scared of the fame and all that. And if you already own and you haven't done it in this manner, your next run, you should be doing it in this manner. Like, it's that's why I'm, I'm the guinea pig for this right now. Yeah. I'm just seeing if it worked. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm the guinea pig to know that my album is merchandise. My album is memorabilia. My album is not no just no stream for two weeks and it's done with. Like, yeah. I see the biggest artist ever on earth, my favorite albums too, yeah. straight up and down. Yes, it has access to it all the time, but that don't mean they going to it and streaming it. You feel what I'm saying? Come so on. now, they be gone in a second. We talk about somebody album who came on next week. Last week, it was dope too. I know it was dope. Yeah. Because we listened to yeah. it. But why we ain't talking about it no more? 
And then even then, and as an artist, you feel a certain way about it, so you don't drop no more singles. Yeah. You don't um you don't drop no more visuals. Yeah. You stop. Yeah. Once it stop, you stop, right? So now these albums stopping in two weeks. Ain't nobody getting paid but these labels and these motherfuckers who making these billions. You ain't getting shit. But if you send these people straight to you, straight to your site, straight to your wherever to come to you. It works. I don't care if you do give it free, and but just give it. You stream it from your website then. Yeah. Like, come on, my shit and listen. So, like, right now, you go to my website, uh, newmurf.com, and when you purchase the album, you got a choice to either download it to your phone if you want to fill up your phone with some songs. That's fine. And daddy, I my day ones do that. Yeah. But if you want to just stream, stream it, it, you can come back to this site at any time and just keep streaming this album like it's yours. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, you bought it already. It's yours. Yep. And that's how we doing it. Like, I don't understand. I don't understand the other part. Because I know for a fact if an NBA young boy or anybody who getting them trillion, billion streams. Lil Baby, think if Lil Baby did that shit, bro. Yeah. Right now, he getting a billion streams. You telling me 20 million people won't buy his album? Mm. And I know it for a fact because people will spend $400 to $1,200 to come sit in a booth. Yeah. And will not buy your album, bro. They will not pay 10 for your album, but I will spend 1200 for an outfit, 1200 for the booth and bottles, another four for my girl to get her hurt on, and this and that, Bloom. I done spent two twenty five hundred to come to a little baby party. Yeah. But they ain't went on there and bought no album for $10. My God. Because it's for stream. It's for free, right? Mm -hmm. So why would I? Mm -hmm. But if I only way I could get little baby album is... Through his website, through him, I'm fucking with him. That's Come my on. cat. I'm Come going on. to get it. There ain't no Come talk on. about it. You know what I'm saying? I, my partner, Gray, Gray the vegan rapper, he do it every time. Yo, call me at this number, blah blah blah. He did it so dope. Like I buy it every time, yeah. and I and when I get it, I feel it different. You feel what I'm saying? When my brother picked me up in that sidekick, bro, and we yeah. went and go bought that motherfucking Tupac album. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Two, it was a double album. I know what you're talking he about. He probably got about $112 on him, and he yeah. spent that $12 on that album. Got a hundred left. He feeling good about it. We feeling we never, we know we never passed. I can't deny it. I'm a straight ride. That's number one on the song. I never passed number one before I got dropped off. I don't even know how the album sound yet. You feel me? But the feeling of standing in line and for the, the, the artist and fan you know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's a different experience, and that's what it is. All I'm trying to get you is an experience, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like I was hating on the CDs for a second, yeah. And then, but people wanted for memorabilia, so I'm do I do albums, I do um, vinyl, the yeah. whole nine. Like I got straight memorabilia stuff. I, I, we got hats and all type of thing. Like get a Murph pack. When you think about just being on a label, man, what was some of the perks to it though? Was it was it the sweet life on the label when everything is going good, or is it one of those things that you like? Why the fuck I'm on this label in a goddamn way? Nah, you don't know. You know we wanted to get signed. Every yeah, that's the key to life. Everybody just want to get. Oh, give me a deal. I want a deal. Yeah. So I don't think you ever looked at it like that. But one thing I do know is I felt like me being a, a boss ass entrepreneur type of human. I felt like a fucking worker. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like. They sit in front of you, bro, at the BET Awards. Yeah. You understand me? Like, Hot Boys right here, Tix right here, and she's up there. <laughs> and the president's right there. Like, nigga, y'all in the front row. Y'all ain't did nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I never, I don't never see Bank of America after they give somebody a loan be all at they spots on. All I in the videos. This. <laughs> I did this, baby. You know what I'm saying? I made this work right here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you ain't never seen them. Now that's, that make me feel like Suge Knight. Oh, yeah. Dancing in the video. <laughs> it make me feel like they're like, but no, nah, you go up in there not knowing that you spent all the money when we out here and they having a, a night. Oh, let's have a celebration dinner. Nigga, that's your money. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So yeah. you in that motherfucker thinking they bigging you up and you what's called, but you done bought everybody in this bitch something to eat. I'm talking big, big. We talking New York City. You know what I'm talking? We talking talking thousand dollar uh twelve uh Louis Louis thirteen shots. We talking, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And like so when you really get into details of where my money is and things of that nature, and you go and you get the artists and all that, you see the shit and you be like, oh shit, y'all did that with my shit like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? To where you can just now they can just lie and say I spent this on this because you don't know. You done yeah. had ten of those 
dinners that you thought was something and mm-hmm. that you doing. I go out there with the company card. Nigga, that ain't no company card. That's yeah. a your card. Exactly. That's your budget. When they write on that motherfucking sign, that shit, that's just yours, 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 yours. So you walk around that motherfucking begging and shit and can I keep this CD off this person's desk <laughs> of a gorilla soul or somebody? You know, let me take that home shit. Nigga, you can buy it at the store. Yeah. But you're not knowing that all this shit is y'all pay for. Nelly bought this building. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how I look at it. Like, nah, he, he wouldn't have sold 8 million records around this motherfucking time. This building wouldn't even be up. He was the last source of money around this motherfucker. And we, yeah. don't, and we never, that never kicked in our head. It always was like little kids in a building where they helped it you. It was a privilege. It's like they, there you go. Mm-hmm. Like they helped you do this. You know what I'm saying? Which they did. Everybody plays a part. Well, too. now that's the biggest so mind fuck in the game is yeah. that they helping you when they really pimping you. And that's nah, the they whole helping thing. you, bro. No, you just got to know that you're the pimp. Mm. See, when you realize you're the pimp, you walk in like baby. Come on now. You walk in like Master P. Well, no, I'm with you, you on that. You walk in like Puffy Combs. I'm with you on that. But everybody else, you walk in like. Cool dancing, baby. What the hell? What you want me to do? What you want me to do? I know the first time we walked in that motherfucker, bro, we had to perform the first three songs of Country Grammar. You know what I'm saying? Like, we had to show these motherfuckers that y'all need to really put behind this shit. So we, we hopping on. Tables and all type of shit. You know what I'm saying? So when I see Bobby Smurders and shit, I'm like, yup, you got to, because that's what we had to do. <laughs> Get up there and let them know you for real, because if not, they not going to spend that bread and they not going to keep going. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Because that's what it is. It's really a bread spinning industry. You know what I'm saying? I learned that independent. Like, if you don't spend it, you ain't going to win it. It yeah. just, it just, it just stays stagnated. So the more money they put into shit. See, the thing is, when you see an artist, it's like, oh, he was supposed to blow or that. Just know the money stopped. I don't give a fuck mm. you, Beyonce. If you don't hear a Beyonce record no more on the radio, it's because the money, the money stopped. stopped. It ain't nothing else. It ain't like, and it ain't even about pay to play. Don't even yep. look at it like that. Look at it like songs are big because it's certain routine going yep. on, and that's how it's supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? That's the music industry from day one. We can't change it. Same way with the judicial system. <laughs> Why are you trying to change something that nigga wasn't built for you? How about that? <laughs> Stay out the motherfucker <laughs> on both sides. Don't be a victim or <laughs> you stay out the court, you ain't never got to worry about exactly. it. You'll never see the system again. You feel Come what I'm on. saying? Like, because it's not built for you, it wasn't written for you. You know what I'm saying? Yep. That's the same thing with the music business. The same contract, that shit was built to get you. You got to know that. If you know it, you go in different. You know what I'm saying? That's why yep. I respect the babies and the masterpiece because they didn't go in like a worker. Like, mm-hmm. you go in with a worker mindset, they going to treat your ass work like your ass. They know damn well that you ain't what's called. They coming there, nigga, you'll be... See, these podcasts set up, I'm doing one shit. I might not have to do one to a couple more days. You know what I'm saying? Come on. Come in that motherfucker, boy. It's going to be 90000 set up. No lunch, no nothing. You finna get in this motherfucker. You want to sell an album? That's how they going to make it exactly. seem. It's your record. What you, what you You can stop all you want, but it's yours. <laughs> Why on. did y'all set it up all on this one day, though? What yeah. the hell? Like, I'm talking about, kaka, 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 kaka. <laughs> how am I supposed to answer these questions? You know you asking the same thing as him because y'all got the same sheet. She- Nobody knows me. Come on. Y'all got the same fucking thing. So you're going to have the same questions as them. So now I got to answer these same motherfuckers. Only one person going to try to be different. Yep. Those people we probably see to this day that's yep. on TV or something. Still doing it. Because exactly. they knew. They're like, no, I can't ask some of the same, <laughs> the same shit. Goddamn you know question. what I'm saying? That's why I want to come to B.I. Because B.I. ain't going to ask me no same shit that these motherfuckers ask. <laughs> so that's, that's the thing. Like, So now you got artists caught up in that. Like, it's a, man, it's a big circle circus. You know what I'm saying? But it's great. For <laughs> it is, man, it is, bro. We gotta realize it. you just have to realize that it's a loan. When you realize it's a loan, use the money wisely. That's all you gotta do. And you can't control the money. No, I don't want my money there. No, I ain't even they don't even know me on the West Coast. Yeah. Motherfucker, spend it Midwest only right now, and then we expand out. <laughs> like if you can get if you can get that much talking into them, they be like, all right, Betty knows what he's doing. Come yeah. in with a plan. Yeah. If you want to be on a label, like other than that, go independent and just not be scared to grow. You know what I'm saying? Your mind, Murphy, when was it that all of it started to click in your head and you started to understand that you needed to take control of the band? Shit, still not never. No, just, <laughs> that shit, shit still don't kick in. But nah, um, man, I was smart. Yeah. I, all my fucking life, I was an A-B student. You know what I'm saying? I probably fucked up one year in my life. Yeah. And I fell for it. You know what I'm saying? But I'm big on that. Then I got knowledge of self after that. You know mm. what I'm saying? Then I start eating right, living right, treating people right. So the knowledge of certain shit was always in me to know it. I just didn't know when I was going to break out into like my own uh, grown man situation. And I think it really kicked in when um, when they wasn't 
moving me. They wasn't spending no money. They wouldn't spend no money. They wouldn't put me out. I was trying to go out there myself. Like, I got this single. Yo, I go out myself. I go out 14, 15, 16. I was doing shit that artists didn't want to do. At that time, no artist wanted to go to the radio no more. Yep. They was like, I ain't doing interviews. Wayne was like, I ain't doing interviews. Yep. Everybody was like, I'm they not fucking it. with this, fucking yep. with that. Because social media had just started, so people yep. didn't want to say the wrong shit and all that. I'm like, yep. man, I'm going to every radio station, everything. I'm with it. I'm with all the shit. So I'm <laughs> kissing, baby. Because I already knew I was a fan. Yeah. I had fanzines. I had real fucking crybabies. Yeah. Like, ah! <laughs> Murph, you know what I'm saying? I was a fucking kid. So I know for a fact that when I go out and touch these people and now they in college, now they 24 and 25 yeah. and I'm 30, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, this gonna work. You know what I'm saying? Let me go out. Let me go. So I was on them BT college tours yeah. the whole night. I was taking advantage of when everybody was saying no because yeah. it was free. Mm. See, people didn't know that. Them BET college things, they was not paying them artists. Mm. So a lot of everybody was saying no. Yep. I said yes to every phone call. Nigga, where, where we going? Yep. Where we going? All them HBCUs, I'm out. You know what I'm Come saying? On. So that kept me actually <laughs> yeah. loaded, to be honest with Come you. You know on. what I'm saying? Where people, where, I, where it looked like I was lost, but you didn't know I was in the midst of I was of found. Shit. Yeah. Okay. So that's that's how you got to do it. You know what I'm saying? I think... Uh, I think I said yes to a lot of stuff that were, where other artists would say no to. So it kept me cool in those little times. But that's when I learned, like, oh, shit, it's me or nothing. Yeah. Like, if I don't do it, it ain't going to get done. We tripping. Like, yeah. we got to get outside. We got to, what we doing? Like, anything, events, everything, throw it yourself. You you waiting on a promoter to call you? No, fucking throw the show yourself. Go do it. Or hire somebody and you throw the show and make the money. Like, I start thinking there. Talk about human interaction before the fame. And okay. then after the fame and just dealing with family and just people from the hood and just your relationships going across the, you know, the medians in a different spectrum. So you in the ghetto, you in the hood, you're talking to folks. The next thing you know, you in Hollywood talking to folks. The next thing you know, you uh, a stable grown ass man dealing with people. Did you feel a change in the way that people I treated you? you? And then how yeah, did your weird. mind deal with the change of those people? I couldn't. That's why I think that's where I'm at, where I'm at. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Flat out. No, that's the, that's that humble part of me. Like I told you, I want to go to Walmart, get my own damn draws. Yeah. I don't like that shit. I don't like that first, that fame shit. You know, and that fucked me up. It, yeah. I, it messed me up in the music business. I can't front. I could be somewhere way different in life because I'm fucking cold at this shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But because I don't like the fame part, the music business part of, the monkey part of it. Yeah. It can hold you back because people change. It ain't gonna never be you changing. Yeah. You need to change though, because we as businessmen, we need to change. When we get that bread, change. <laughs> change. <laughs> change, fucking change. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, and we gotta not care about what people think because no other genre besides hip hop yeah. is is mandatory yeah. to take care of every fucking body. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like in ours, it's man, it's in our head. Yeah. It's in a it's in a don't buy that Benz because your partner's gonna look at you funny because they ain't got a Benz. Until you able to buy five Benz is wait. That's my where God. I mess with my head was all fucked up. Yeah. I, don't spend that money on you, Murph. Make sure if she cool, he cool, she cool, they cool, they cool, they cool, they cool. You feel what I'm saying? And I had that thinking, but not knowing that these genuine people that I was doing for would have let me live yeah but it was my mental it was me personally like thinking that i'm supposed to do this first yeah no i'm supposed to get super as big as i can possibly get so i can exactly. easily do for everybody yeah so i did think i was somewhere when i wasn't there yet yeah you feel what i'm saying i was trying to live like nelly in a yeah. way you know what i'm saying like shit, he big as fuck. i know what kind of money he dealing with I'm work trying to work my little money like that. Like, no, you don't do that. You know what I'm saying? You really supposed to come up because I suppose you supposed to change your parents' lives. You're supposed to change people around you lives. And I wasn't able to do that because I um because I tried too early. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I tried to open businesses too. I tried to do everything else so early. And that second time around the song on there, speak on it. You know what I'm saying? I tried so early, like just try to be grown, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it did it all wrong, like just thinking, yeah. you know. But I was in the right path. I was yeah, on the thing. You, I was your head was in the right space. Rhyme and reason. Yeah. The show. Yeah. They both taught me, yo, don't fucking buy no car before you buy the house. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They said all the things, and I did the same fucking shit. <laughs> bought the car. Still bought the bins before I <laughs> pulled that bitch up to the apartment. Still did it backwards, you know what I'm saying? But I yeah. thought I was learning from that, though. I was learning from them, like, yo, do it this way. So yeah. right when I got a little check, I start. 
opening that business, open the cafe, open the t shirt business. Da, 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 yeah. da, 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 da. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Start saving, and buy a whole park. I want to build the park. I paid for some shit at Slu, bro. All time. Slu got so much money. They don't need no money from, <laughs> from little old Murph. I don't know what the hell I was dedicating myself to. So, this is certain stuff you thinking you're supposed to do. You, I thought you do. You know what I'm saying? Um, I would have did different on the give back and stuff like that because the hood will take care of you if you take care of it correctly. But yeah. I was thinking you're supposed to do it a certain way in actuality to get it out more you can do it a certain way you know what yeah. i'm saying i didn't know that till later um but a lot of stuff but yeah everybody changed itself for you you mm. know what i'm saying really it need to be you that changed you know what i'm saying because everybody gonna follow yeah. you don't know how much power you got with that money and, and this fame you realize that you know what I'm saying people start tripping start doing different shit the closest motherfuckers to you if you use that power correctly bro you can put people in place like no other and that's yeah. why i'm learning for second time around but the first, if i'd have known on that first phase that Yo, you can put people in a certain place, you know what I'm saying? We Go so deep into that money. thing, though, Murph, Man, because there's some yeah. folks that's in that first phase right yeah. now. They need to hear what the hell you know. Yeah, no, nah, you need to, instead of just giving him $2,000, go get him an LLC. Yeah. Go try to get his credit right. Yeah. Go get go do certain shit so he can get instead of buying him a car, he can go buy his own car. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, we was putting people in place of, like, like workers, but we wasn't. Empowering. Paying them, yeah, empowering or paying them like employees. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's a way to do that shit where you, where everybody can eat. Cause you know our employees gonna eat more than somebody at a regular nine to five. That's right. So it's like everybody will be at play to be super where they need to be. But if you don't know what you're doing, that shit can fuck up everything. Cause you look up like, damn, this month I spent too much money. I ain't got no money to do this. Yeah. And not everybody needs something at a certain time, and they might ask, and that can fuck up that whole relationship. Cause they don't know that. Everybody think you got what you don't got, like flat Come out. Let's start there. Like every artist, we think they got man half the time. Them niggas flashing money that they that was yesterday money. Yeah. They flash it again Thursday, the same Come money, on. but they made it look like we made it. We <laughs> made some here. more money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop. You know what I'm saying? They do it for the gram. Come that's, on. That saying is real. I do it for the gram. That, that's mm -hmm. real. So mm -hmm. I just think um, take that two thousand dollars and instead of just putting it in his pocket, go. You know what I'm saying? And uh, when when somebody really say something like. You know, I want to start this business, boom, 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 do it. Yeah. Because a lot of times you'll spend that same amount of money he asking for on some dumb on ass some shit. Bullshit. You'll go buy him a Gucci shoe or yeah. something before you fucking spend it on, he want a bomb pop dream. Truck. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Like, so we got to start going there. And I start doing that. I start yeah. putting people in play uh, that I knew was working for me and I knew that this shit was slowing down. You might not be, I don't need no fucking assistant or this, yeah. that. So what you trying to do? You trying to do that? Let's do that. Let's yes, do that. Sir. Let's do that. So I put a lot of people in play in that matter, but. I didn't have that kind of money to do that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I wish it was uh, different. I wish I'd have played the game instead of... Uh, now, what you mean playing the game? You got to play the game. Don't no. be in the music business and not play the oh, game. Yeah. <laughs> Just don't be in it. Just don't be in it. Like, you know what it is. You, you did radio. Either play the game or just leave. Because otherwise, you're going to be mad as fuck at this business. You know what I mean? Flat out, bro. Flat Dude, out. that's why we in here right now. Yeah, play it. Because I can't play this shit. I, I can't, can't play, play that shit. I can't play it. I'm right here with you, you <laughs> shit. I cannot <laughs> play that shit. That shit's so fake. I'm like, this is stupid. You want me to... Never mind. I'm cool. <laughs> I, I know how to just say no. Like the 80s, goddamn. Fuck that. I'm cool on that drug. <laughs> you ain't never lied on that right that now, bro. Right. That shit ain't right, though. But you get dignity from that shit. I, exactly. I'm a whole different person because I did say no to a lot of shit. Like, I ain't doing that shit. That's stupid. That's coon. Yeah. And that's not as monkey and for no reason. I ain't getting no bread behind that monkey. Yeah. That's not even cool. If you gonna monkey, goddamn, at least let me eat like a monkey. You motherfuckers <laughs> don't even get niggas bananas. <laughs> Cool, bro. <laughs> no, I feel you. Yeah. Now, lastly, Murph, what is it that you want your fans to know, man, that you want to leave them with before you slide? This life fake as fuck. <laughs> Quit tripping off this bullshit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's always going to be some a fall season. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, but it's always going to be spring and summer. Like, stop. Don't worry about it. You know what I'm saying? I think – you know, everybody's talking about the mental health thing and things of that nature, and everybody's going through it because we fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And the reason we fucked up is because we're taking it too serious. Mm. See, once that mailbox come, our minds change, and we start thinking different when them bills come. It's just certain things. But we cannot live to pay bills, bro. We're going to all die very early if we just keep living to just pay the bills. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Them bills going to come. So we got to figure out something that's like, 
and handles the bills. Yeah. But I got to live, bro. We got to live. We are so worried about dying. Yeah. Like, every fucking day is about making it, grinding, <laughs> and dying. Man, we going to be fucked up, wrinkled, and old, dog. If y'all don't understand, black people age so well, bro. Yeah. Because what we go through and what we've been through. Don't look and like to it. See, yeah, we don't look it at yeah. all, man. We get them ages, and we think old is so, man, boy, my mama laugh at you right now. My mama look 23 right yeah. now. All right, 60-something. And she eat wrong. She ain't, even, yeah. she ain't like, I'm 21 years vegan. Like, she's Come straight, on. don't give a fuck. And she literally still, if it wasn't her yelling and shit at us a lot of times, yeah. she wouldn't have this one wrinkle yeah. right there. Like, we age so well, but we got to stop tripping off shit that's already a problem it's yeah. we know that's a, we know nigga yeah. that bill going uh, that bill don't fucking change bro yeah you make them you make your bills to be honest with you we know what it is so handle your bills but live bro i don't give a fuck what it is you can't take that money with you and once you get a lot of money and then you don't have a lot of money sometimes you can i re- that helped me like mm. going broke and different things of that nature that helped me Realize that money is stupid as fuck. This ain't yeah. shit. And what you think you need, you don't fucking yeah. need, bro. Yeah. That's some shit you want. That's some Instagram looking, seeing another nigga with something, thinking you supposed to have yeah. it, that shit. Yeah. No, stop. Come on. Like, stop, bro. Do live your life. What makes you happy. Whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? And when it comes to entrepreneurship, I really preach that to the fullest. Find something you love and that you're good at at the same time. You, know, you find something you're good at. And that you would, wouldn't mind doing all the fucking time. Come on. If you don't mind doing it all the time, do it, bro. Just just do it. Find that. Because at least you can live in decency. I don't give a how much it make. But if you love it and you don't mind doing it all the time, the money going to come. You know what I'm saying? And that's, and that's how I feel. That's how I look at it. That's how I preach it. You know what I'm saying? But I definitely know for a fact we all supposed to be doing something. If life started off with barter and trade, yep. and everybody was at home doing something, and then you had this and I had this, and yeah. this is how the village worked, then that lets us know now everybody can bring something to the table Ooh. for something. There's a need and a void in all lives. You know what I'm saying? Now, some people are followers. Some people like to work. Some yeah. people like working for other people. Some people are great at taking orders and stuff Come like on. that. So do you. But... If you got that hate in you that feel like I hate this fucking job, there's a reason why you hate that job. So hey, find man. something you love and try to maneuver over into that love so you can live, bro. Because we going to, you don't, man, we are working for a retirement that probably don't exist. Nigga. And it's going to kill us. We're going to die before the retirement. And they got it set up for us to, to I got we got a movie out right now called They're Trying to Kill Us. Ooh. Make sure it's the same people who uh, did What the Health yeah. on uh, Netflix or whatever. So everybody trying to ban this movie and all this shit. Yeah. So make sure when y'all see this thing to go check it out. But it's called They're Trying to Kill Us. And it, it explained it all from eating right to living right and uh, everything from COVID to all this shit that's just going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, we got to really uh, wake up and, 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 and do for ourselves. You know what I'm saying? I think I'm we count you. on so much. We count on... I don't see how we do it, but we do count on a lot of, you know what I'm saying? We yeah. expecting a lot of things. Boy, if y'all expecting that grocery store to have them groceries, y'all going <laughs> to have a big-ass wake-up call one day. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You can see it happening. You see it watching. You watch shelves get empty sometimes. Like, what the fuck is y'all doing exactly. on a Tuesday? You know what I'm saying? So we have to learn how to fend for ourselves. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about whether it's our own grocery stores or whatever it is. Yeah. We just got to learn to fend for ourselves. If not, it's going to be rough, bro. I promise you. Murph! My right. dog, appreciate yeah. you coming through this thing, hey, boss. Thank, thank Wish you nothing but the best and much success. Behind Radio, shout it, Murphy Lee. We up out of this thing. Holla.